a boop, boop. I just heard that sound in my ear. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, boys and girls. Today we're talking about the same trigonometric ratio, sine, cosine, tangent, right? Cosecant, secant, cotangent. Uh, except today we're going to talk about them on the unit circle, all right? Uh, so we're going to be considering, all right, a circle and triangles within it. And the unit circle, I'm talking about circles of radius 1. So imagine uh, a circle that is centered at the origin and happens to pass through all of these points. Actually, I might even draw this circle in white. I'm going to try to draw my best circle. Quiet, you. <laughs> Oh, that's why I draw it piecemeal. Why aren't you drawing a circle right now, friend? Me? Bam. Uh, I don't need to write so imagine yeah. this point on the unit circle. This is the point x, comma, y. Right? And now this point could, you know, land anywhere on the circle. It's never going to be more than one unit away from the center. As a matter of fact, it's always one unit away from the center. Uh, so the radius out to that point is 1. Uh, so I'll, I might even say r equals 1. Because sometimes we'll end up applying these to uh, circles that are not unit circles. But since we're talking about trigonometric ratios, the ratios of the triangle I'm going to draw, the ratios will always be the same no matter how large the triangle is because comparing side to side it won't really you see any triangles? Yeah. Now check this out. What if I draw Look, triangle. this triangle? I drop the height from that point down to the x-axis. And what I get is this little right triangle. And my question for you is, how far over? What is this horizontal Half. length? Half? Half? Oh, uh, no. For a very specific angle, it would be a half. If this was, uh, I think, 60 degrees, it would equal a half. I don't think we know how long it is. No, no. This is, there is an exact value I can give this, but I don't know the numerical value for it yet. But according to the sketch, what would this be? What, how far over is this? The hypotenuse is one. How far over is this? Or let me ask this: How high up is this? It's not in your notes. No, no, this isn't a special right triangle. This is just some crazy angle. This is theta, some unknown angle that, for all we know, currently lies in the first quadrant. Well, check this out. How far over is this point? X. How high up is this point? Y. So the overness of this triangle is X units long, and the rise is y units high. So from angle theta's perspective, what is uh, what is sine of theta equal to? It would be y over 1, right? y over 1 or y over r. It would be y. Right? And what is cosine of theta equal to? Adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, x over 1, or x. Yeah, exactly. So it turns out the point x comma y, I could also have defined as what's equal to x? Cosine of theta comma, sine of theta. OK? 
Okay. So the cosine of my angle is always equal to the x coordinate. The sine of my angle is always equal to the y coordinate. So let me ask you this. This might be extending a little bit. Uh, here, what do you need? What do you need? All right, you're good. You're good. Yep. So my question is, uh, what is cosine of zero degrees? Oh, that's not. And what is sine of zero degrees? Well, let's draw a picture. Where, uh, where, what does a zero degree angle look like? It's just right over here, right? It doesn't go from the whole thing And if I have this on the unit circle, it doesn't go on the left, I can do that. Right, one here's uh, 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1, right? So a zero degree angle would be right out here. And what are the coordinates of this point? 1, comma 0. So what is the value of cosine of zero degrees? One. What is the value of sine of zero degrees? Zero. All right. So, so far, we've only known like sine of 30 is a half or sine of 45 is the square root of 2 over 2 or the sine of 60 was root 3 over 2. But now I can also find out what sine of zero is. Right, because having a triangle with a zero degree angle wouldn't make really that much sense. But now that I've got this on the coordinate plane, I'm able to kind of extend these concepts a little bit more. So let me ask you this. What would cosine of 90 be? And what is sine of 90? Sine 90? Hmm. Well, let's consider where that point is. Here's a 90 degree angle, right? And on the unit circle, this the coordinates of this point are uh, zero comma one, right? So that means cosine always equal to the x, which we said a moment ago, right? Uh, is going to equal zero. So cosine of 90 degrees is zero, and sine of 90 degrees is one. Uh, that's just the location of this point. So, so you have to that in the no, if I'm on the unit circle, this point would be zero comma one, right? If this point, I went up on the y-axis by one, but I didn't go over at all, so I went over zero units and up one unit. So x comma y, ordered pair. Let's see. This one's a little bit more interesting. What about uh, cosine of 180? and sine of 180. So here's 180 degrees. What kinds of angles are these called again? Do you remember? No, the kind of angles that land exactly on one of my axes. Starts with a Q. No, quadrantal angle. So let's see, cosine of 180 degrees being the x coordinate is negative 1, and sine is 0. Okay? And then I'll ask you uh, what is cosine of 270? And what is sine of 270? Equal to. So let's consider that 270 degree angle. Whoop. So the coordinates of this point are zero and minus one. Correct. So cosine of 270. Zero. zero. Sine of 270 is minus one. All right. So now I know the values of cosine all the way. Well. I know cosine of 0, 30, 60, uh, well, 45 in there, 60, and 90. And I know sine of 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. Right? I was able to find the 30, 60, 45, 90, or 30, 45, and 60 ones 
using um, special right triangles, which we did yesterday, and now using the unit circle in this concept, I was able to find these other values. And uh, what we're going to extend today is what if I wanted to find, um, you know, sine of like a 135 degree angle. And that's going to be a little bit weird. But we're going to do that a little bit later today. But I think uh, it's almost lunchtime here. So I'm going to take a quick break and come back and finish this up. Bye, Internet.